I'm Jason Gorber for ThatShelf.com and we're here at the Blue Mountain International Film Festival. I'm on top of the hill that constitutes being a mountain, just wandering around and we're here to talk about Barakat, which is a lovely little film. Um, something completely uh, new to me, not something that I had spotted in any of my other festival travels. Um, it's a film about a uh, family from South Africa, a Muslim family in South Africa. Uh, the patriarch passes away. Uh, there's a falling out between two of the four brothers and the mom, uh, two years later, uh, becomes um, sort of romantically entwined with her doctor. Uh, what results is a light and yet incredibly charming comedy. It's a family comedy that deals with, um, you know, uh, growing up, letting go, uh, finding a way, finding a connection between uh, relationships. The way that uh, siblings connect, the way that history has evolved, and it's really, really fascinating to actually see how beautifully integrated within the storyline the dynamic with, of the community is. So it feels in some ways almost a documentary of um, um, this particular uh, community in Cape Town, South Africa, and, and the dynamic that they have. And look, South Africa for so long was such a... Um, so, sort of touchstone for uh, racial discussions, for lack of a better word. Um, simply, simply under the apartheid regime, things were literally black and white, and you got this sort of complicated, sort of mid zone between those um, not of African descent, uh, directly of African descent, and those not um, within political uh, control. All of that stuff has been discussed and talked about in, in very heavy political terms. What's really beautiful about this film is that's obviously the backstory of how these communities formed and the history of how they got there and how they integrate and, and the dynamic between those um, um, of South Asian descent interacting with those of um, African descent, what counts, um, uh, what counts specifically um, uh, of, of connection to culture, but what one has to give up. Um, when one sort of joins a family or what one gains from such things, meeting people in the middle, all of these things are all play within something which is a very light, lovely comedy. It's as simple as that. And as it plays out, um, the performances are actually great. Um, but uh, yeah, there's, there are certainly times where it becomes a little bit uh, almost um, too light, too farcical. <laughs> too um, straightforwardly um, a, a generic comedy. And yet those moments are overshadowed by the fact that it truly feels like you're seeing something that feels quite special, that, that you're getting a sort of a unique insight, not only to the particular story of um, uh, this, um, this culture, but also their humor, the way that they interact. You actually feel something, um, there's, there's an intimacy there in the storytelling, which I actually found super engaging. Um, as it all plays out in a relatively straightforward way, it's just very satisfying. And um, uh, the, the end result is something that I think is, is special enough to definitely seek out. Um, certainly not something that is on the top of the list of people when they're talking about, you know, these, these moments of international cinema that, that, that people are um, sort of uh, um, desperate to seek out. But, you know, when it comes to festivals such as this, maybe having the space to actually see these films as opposed to the big, the equivalent of the art film blockbuster. I mean, that's, 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 this is not that. And because of that, it actually makes it a little bit special. There's a little bit more space just to take in something that maybe isn't the reason that you flew on the other side of the world to see. Maybe just, you know, sit down and watch a film, which is not something um, that you would normally overtly seek out but because it's here because it's being curated because it's being presented within context of this festival is something quite special and it really bodes well i think for um uh the the spirit of this festival as i mentioned um in one of the other videos that the programming is not simply looking for the most obvious or the most um awards friendly or any of that stuff it's just looking for films that this audience will engage with. And, and, and this one is certainly speaks in a very convivial way to an audience um, which is going to see themselves in the story of these individuals that are literally on the other side of the world. And that's one of the things that cinema is so beautiful at, uh, bringing these stories, these empathizing with these characters in ways that um, 
uh, truly make it uh, really engaging and really thoroughly entertaining, frankly. So there we are, our look at uh, the latest film here from the Green Escarpment Blue Mountain International Film Festival. For ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to the festival for uh, letting me uh, sort of traipse around on the top of this little hill here. And uh, we will see you next video. Please uh, subscribe, follow us on social media, and uh, support the channel. It would really help us out a lot. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. All the best.